how do you get nourishment and refuel as a woman? So the first thing is that we need to know, okay, are we an extrovert or an introvert? And I think that's a great starting point because it allows us to actually gain deeper awareness on how we can actually nourish ourselves. when without it, we might not realize why we're still feeling as though we're not getting, you know, a peace of mind and nourishment. So the first thing is that if you are an introvert, that means that you're getting nourishment from your quiet, your silent time, your maybe just one or two people. And that's where you refuel. That's where you get most joy. That's where you love being. Now, if you're an extrovert, it means that you get a lot of, you know, joy and refuelment from being around people. And so you need to know, you know, who you are and what refuels you so that you don't deceive yourself or create strategic plan to gain nourishment. Okay. Because if you're a mom and you've got all these little people and you are an extrovert, but you just need that check-in point of saying, you know, I just need like an hour of coffee with another friend or go to X, Y, and Z. So then you can set up all the different logistics such as, hey, honey, can you watch this? Or can I just have an hour or maybe a phone call, right? Or maybe a, a, um, a Zoom call with two or three other friends so that you don't allow yourself to get into depletion because you're not actually refueling. Now, I do want to say that there's a third person, which is called an ambivert. And an ambivert is somebody who actually enjoys being with a lot of people, but gets fuel from actually quite in a long time. And that's also something that you need to be aware of. I'm actually an ambivert. I love, you know, having around people, but I have a limit and that's what ambiverts have. They just have a cap and a limit where they're saying, you know what? Okay. I am, you know, I'm around people and it's great, but now it's time for me to have quiet time. So knowing that helps us to serve better, helps us to be better mothers, better um, lovers, better friends, so that we know where to actually recharge because the whole purpose a refueling is that we can continue to give back. And if we don't have that level of awareness, we could be running on depletion all day long. And so set up your week, your day, your month with awareness of what you're, where you're going to refuel yourself, because that's not just kind of like, oh, this is nice self-care. It's really a nourishment care. And as a woman, we need to be hyper aware of the layers of nourishment we need to contribute at our highest and best self. So ask yourself, are you an extrovert, an introvert, or an ambivert? And then create a plan to make sure you get those nourishing moments throughout your week so that you can give more of your highest and best self. January Donovan with The Woman's School, cheering you on to life of wholeness.